first started talking about data ethics, AI ethics, people asked me if I was fighting for robot rights. And I had to explain, well, it's a reflection of society, and we can actually create machines that are ethical, that are biased, uh, unbiased, and we do that by doing three things. One is creating technology that actually benefits humanity and telling those stories. Last week, I launched a service in South Africa for women who face domestic violence. That's one in three women who face abuse, and every eight minutes, a woman is murdered in her own home by her own partner. The issue is very complex. People don't report. When they do report, they're not heard. And we did something very simple. We used AI to detect early patterns and made it easy for people to take that first step of saying that they're not fine. The result, within a week, we have over 50,000 conversations of people speaking up about violence against themselves. So AI can be a great power for, and force for good. And this news is in the headlines in South Africa pretty much in every media outlet. Second, we can bring a diverse group of people into the AI community. Over the last two years, I've trained 150, 150 young people, um, 11 to 16-year-olds, in AI technology. And these are not the kids who go to code clubs. And the technology they are creating, nine out of 10 times, has very strong social purpose. And that one kid is usually playing video games, but that's OK. And, um, and the third thing we could do is not leave AI ethics or data ethics and innovation to Developers like myself, who've decided to opt in to create the right thing. Yes, we need self-regulation, but we also need standards, and we need it now. Um, so just last week, I joined the board of the Center for Data Ethics and Innovation, um, which is going to be a group that establishes these standards, works closely with the industries, and ensures that we have good practices in place, so that when the robots do take over, at least they're nice. Um, <laughs> Or to put it, um, put it another way, less clickbaity way, is that we do create ethical standards in machines that actually benefit people and society and not leave people behind. Thank you.